ladies and gentlemen. Please congratulate our second associate inductee, John Massara. Arrowfield stud owner and chairman John Massara was inducted into the Australian Racing Hall of Fame in Adelaide this week. Having led national breeding and racing bodies, Massara was amongst a group of inductees that included Bob Charlie, Les Bridge, Guy Walter and the Friedman Brothers Melbourne Cup winning jockey great-grandfather Bill McLaughlin. As well as his industry shaping work as an administrator, it is as a breeder standing multiple champion sires Dane Hill, his son Redoot's choice and his reigning champion sire Snitzel, the JM has had his greatest influence on Australian racing and breeding. I am proud of them because I don't think it's probably happened before that a grandfather, a father and a grandson, Stallions, have all been champion sires multiple times in this country. So I am quite proud of that. Uh, but look, <laughs> you do need some fortune, some good fortune in, in, in this business because genetics is, a, is, is a, an area which is uncertain. Um, but look, we do a lot of study on it. Um, we seek a lot of advice. And we then we arrive at a judgment and we move on that judgment and Dane Hill was such a case. The Hunter Valley Breeders Association Awards were held last week with the horses honoured including Animo, Dazzler, the Dam of Bivouac, September Run and Nature Strip taking the champion racehorse title for the second year running. Capitalist was champion first season sire with I Am Invincible honoured as champion general sire. Among the human awards, Crestfield's Wayne Bedgegood received the President's Award for Lifetime Achievement, while Arrowfield's Dr John Freestone won the Murray Bain Service to Industry Award. 80 Nick, 90 Laura. Leading Australian first season sire capitalist provided the top seller on Sunday's day one of the Inglis Melbourne Gold Yearling Sale. The colt from Ponderosa Park out of group play Sebring mare Shadow Griffo sold for $115,000. Cambridge studs boom son of Wooten Bassett Al Manzor unsurprisingly dominated the NZB National Weanling Sale with the top lot and five of the 15 top sellers. Al Nui Farm sold the $145,000 Al Manzor colt from Girl of My Dreams to Hallmark studs Mark Baker who will re-offer him as a yearling in January. Lime Country's Joe and Greg Griffin have bought a property at Blandford near Scone formerly owned by Tony Williams as their broodmare numbers have grown necessitating a move from Think Big Stud near Bowral. Super excited Caroline it's been a long time coming but so thrilled to announce we have brought our first farm we've leased the last two farms and just so happy to get this beautiful property in the Hunter great water lovely river flats hill gum trees terraced areas um, beautiful pasture, hasn't been heavily grazed by horses for the last seven years and had good uh, cattle farmers on it that have run a small number of horses. I love being in the Highlands, the farm has been sensational and we couldn't have had a better start of property to go to but for where the business is going, the number of mares, you know we walk out 90, 95 mares a year, it's a lot of travel, if we had 30 to 40 and it was a private farm, um, I, you wouldn't get me to move out of the property we're on with a shoehorn. We'll build a beautiful yearling facility that'll be ready in time for this season's yearling sales coming up. We're expanding the foaling unit so everything is in place we'll just be expanding and improving probably to the way we need it to be for a good commercial farm. Super Seth is flying! And with our Waikato stud story coming up next, let's look at the G1 Goldmine analysis of the son of Dundeal Super Seth. The hottest cross within three generations with both Dundeal and High Chaparral in the pedigree is Danehill, with the great stallion found on the dam side in 46% of stakes winners when Dundeal is in the sire's pedigree. And Danehill is found on the dam side in a massive 39% of Group 1 winners when High Chaparral is anywhere in the sire's pedigree. Best examples of this are Atiab and Super Seth himself. Waikato starters sponsored Super Seth on Stallion Match so you can go to their website or G1 Goldmines to see how your mare would fare with a visit to Super Seth.
to excel from Insta Celebrity. The English graduate of the week couldn't have been better timed, having sold as an $8,000 Vobis Gold yearling and winning on the eve of this year's sale in Melbourne. Sava 2XL was bought by Alice Springs Turf Club and on Saturday became a Group 1 winner of the Goodwood Handicap. He's by Coroscio, a Group 2 and 3 winner by Exceed and Excel, who now stands at Compass Stallions in Ireland and is a full brother to the dams of Group 1 winners Anthony Van Dyke and Bounding. Scone Cup weekend saw a couple of races for English graduates with the $300,000 English three-year-old Guineas won by the English classic $550,000 sales topper of two years ago, Midland. The son of Brazen Bow was bought by Bruce Perry, who's also in the ownership group, along with Waikato studs Mark and Gary Chittick, Lev Patania and Jamara Bloodstock. And the $200,000 Scone English two-year-old was another win by a talented son of Flying Artie in Artiro, who was sold twice by Lime Country Thoroughbreds to Georgia and Jamie Griffin at an English online sale for $10,000 before on selling at English Classic to Derby Racing and Will Johnson for $36,000.